so there's no real concept behind what I do other than you have a idea that you want to paint something and you start on that painting and within that starting there are inherent problems that you run into compositionally or with the color choices you've made and then the next day you come in and try and solve those problems and it is a continual exercise over and over again of this creating and then solving problems on the same canvas until you've reached a greater conclusion but outside of real any real concept uh, painting to me and and I think what my work is largely about is establishing um, that kind of small history that I want to have in New York City and I want whatever work I get done out here to talk about who I was while I was doing that work. And it's not really born out of ego or a need for <clears throat> longevity past my own life or building a legacy, but I suppose it's, it's some inbred human nature to want to maybe not be remembered, but to have something tangible that other people can look at and you don't necessarily have to be around to explain it. My process largely is one of uh, problem solving for me. Uh, starting a canvas is likely the most frustrating part of completing a painting because there are really no problems to solve when you just start working on a blank canvas. So I find myself on day one just putting down a lot of random ideas, maybe picking colors that I feel uh, are going to stand out later as backgrounds to other parts of the painting. But really after day one when there, there's something to look at is really when my process starts to kick in. Um, you come back to the studio, let's say the next day, and immediately things that you thought had worked for you become obstacles. And f for me, when you're working, there's no part of the canvas that is too precious and everything is expendable. I think the other, the other thing you have to be keenly aware of when you're working on these paintings is there has to be a certain amount of uh, attention paid to, to, to maintaining uh, an honest relationship with the work. You have to avoid gimmickry, you have to avoid, um, you have to avoid thinking about an audience in a lot of ways and, and wondering what it is they want or what's going to make a, someone happy or interest them. You, you just have to, to sort of make what you're going to make. And I think through that honesty, you establish an authorship. And if you look at 10 years of someone's paintings and you could recognize that person's work through those 10 years, then you've created that historical lineage and you've created that tangible thing that someone could look at 100 years from now and say, that was Robert Zott in 2014 in Brooklyn.